Uh, and now our final review of the podcast today is another one of my most anticipated movies of the year. And that was Us. Us is the is Jordan Peele's second film following Get Out. And Us is basically about this family uh, uh, and, uh, and like, the mother is played by Lupita Nyong'o. Uh, or Nuongo. I don't know how you pronounce her name. And they discover that there's a family that looks just like them, except they're evil. And I was really fascinated by this movie. I was excited to see this. Uh, because, you know, I love Jordan Peele as a director. And, like, because I thought Get Out is... I think I still think Get Out is one of the best movies of the decade right now. I thought that movie was so good, so brilliant. It wasn't scary, but it doesn't need to be scary. It was still a very fascinating narrative. I loved Get Out so much. Uh, and so I was very excited for Us. I think this was also in my top ten most anticipated movies of the um, of the decade. So, take that for what it's worth. But, uh, now we get to... But now, but now having finally seen us, uh, I will say I liked it. I did like it, but it was a little bit disappointing considering how great Get Out was. And it, how do I explain that? Well, again, let me start off with a lot with a lot of the really good stuff first. Uh, Lupita Nyong'o is fantastic in this movie. Well. Like, she's, she's good as the regular mother, but when she plays the evil side of her character, Red, or at least, well, the evil version of her, Red, that's where her performance becomes truly uh, magnificent. And again, it's really hard for me to say whether or not Red is the, like, I know a lot of people are saying, uh, you know, Lupita Nyong'o should be nominated for Best Actress at the Oscars this year. I don't know if I would not. I, I'm conflicted as to whether or not to as whether or not she would be nominated for best actress or supporting actress. And here's why: the good Lupita Nyong'o, like the good character, she is the lead, and Lupita Nyong'o is good in the film. Uh, is good as that character, but but she's but she's even better. Really, really fantastic as the evil character, Red. But she's nowhere. But she's not in the movie anywhere near as much as her good as the good character, the good Lupita Nyong'o. So, if I if I were to nominate her for for the her performance as Red, would that be the a lead actress performance or a supporting actress performance? Because clearly, one like Red has significantly less screen time than the other Lupita Nyong'o. I don't know. It's very complicated. But regardless, she is fantastic as Red, the evil, uh, the evil Lupita Nyong'o. And, you know, and again, she's really, really good as the good one too, but she just stands out way more as the evil one. Um, and everyone else plays a really, d does a really good job too. Like, should I write Joseph? I hope that's her name. Uh, yeah. Shahadai, Shahadi, Shahadi write Joseph. Uh, who also plays young Nala in The Lion King. That's strange. That's funny. But, like, uh, she's really good in this movie, too. Uh, the the little boy's really good. Uh, uh, Duke. Uh, Winston Duke plays the father in this, and he's really good as well. You might recognize him as, uh, as Umbaku in Black Panther. And, uh, and, again, he's really, really good in this movie. And this movie also, I I probably say this movie is scarier than Get Out. This movie does bring about the creeps a lot more than uh than um than than Get Out did. Get Out was really good, but it wasn't scary. Again, that's not a problem with this movie. It's really not because I mean it wasn't a problem with Get Out because Get Out doesn't didn't need to be scary for it to be a great narrative. But however, I will say uh. Us, I thought was scarier. It brought a lot of creep factors into it. I just thought it was overall scarier. Um, the cinematography is really good. The score is really good. Whenever you see makeup, it's also really good. All of the, um, again, all the characters are fascinating to watch, especially the evil ones, because every evil version of a character is completely different from the others. 
And again, it's just fascinating to watch. Now, why did I say this movie's a little bit disappointing, even though I thought it was good? Well, it mainly has to do with the ending of Us, which I'm not going to give away. I'm not going to give away spoilers. But I have many logic problems with this ending. Many of them. Whereas with Get Out, I was about to be disappointed by the ending. Uh, like, Get Out almost... Well, not really... It, it, it wasn't going to have a plot hole written ending, but I almost hated the ending of Get Out until... You see, so until you see a car door open. Well, that's all I'll say about the movie. When a car door opens and you find out, and you find out something, it's like, oh, okay, this ending's awesome now. Us, it doesn't go that route. It's really more, like I said, it's a plot hole driven ending, and I find it to be very distracting because. Because, like, when you find out what's been going on in this entire film, it's like, wait, this was... All of this was able to happen? And, like, what, like just coincidentally? And also, like, how... The rules make no sense. The... The reason for this happening makes no sense. And even the ending... Like, or, there's also a, a certain reveal. I'm like, wait, What? I, I don't understand this. It, it's, man, I know it shouldn't... Uh, I Man, it shouldn't matter this much, but man, considering what this movie was building up to, it's like the ending feels very hollow, and while I do enjoy this movie, I, I didn't love it. I didn't love it anywhere near as much as Get Out, and I'm not trying to compare this to Get Out. I'm just saying, just as a movie on it in of itself, this... Like, again, it's good. I like it. But... This should have had this should have had a few more drafts, especially with the ending before this was finalized. Because this ending, I have so many problems with, which is a real shame. Because I thought Get Out was perfect from start to finish. So yeah, um, I again I am a little bit disappointed. I I know this has gotten like a ninety three percent Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, and look, I'm not saying, you know, oh Craig's or shells. No, no, I'm just like, but. If that is the case, I would probably f put us under the category of slightly overrated. I wouldn't say this is as amazing as everyone's making it out to be. Again, it's again for the most part, a lot of stuff are, is really, really good. Like the acting is all great. The direction is really good. the The scares are really good. The characters are entertaining to watch, and this movie does balance hilarious comedy with scares very well. And for the most part, the screenplay is really good, but it's just at the ending. The ending, it, again, I have so many problems with that ending. And I feel like they could have fixed that with a couple more drafts of the script. So, uh, yeah, I like Us. I thought it was good, but I didn't love it anywhere as near as much as I was hoping I would.